Well, because we wanted an eye-catching bus which would go round the country and we as women politicians in the Labour Party uh, talking to women in this country, listening to their views, because 9.1 million women in this country didn't vote in the last general election. They just didn't bother to vote at all because they don't think politics is talking to them or listening to them. So we've got our woman to woman tour. It's on the road. And, you know, as far as the comments about the colour is concerned, let's see what happens. You know, it, it's an experiment. This hasn't been done before, specifically women politicians going to listen to women about their concerns and about politics. And let's see what they let's not pass judgment right away when, you know, we've only just gone half a mile between the supermarket and here where we are now. Uh, let's see what, what the result is. That's fair enough. There's a long road on the campaign trail, but as far as passing judgments concerned, there is, there is. As far as passing judgments concerned, certainly on Twitter and pretty much every broadsheet newspaper in the country, they've all come against it, really. They've also all questioned why pink. It's patronising to women, they're saying. Let's just take another look. I know you can't see it, but I'm going to show our viewers another pink bus, famous amongst the under-12 females in this country, the Barbie bus. It's pretty similar colour. We've just put them both side by side. Now, people, feminists, women have been fighting for years against this stereotyping of pink, associating it with women. Aren't you setting that cause back decades? No, we're basically really drawing attention to the fact that actually we are there as Labour women politicians. We want to discuss with women what their concerns but why, are. Why and have they you can say to us pink to what bring they that want. message to the audiences that you're trying to reach? Well, because it's an eye catching colour. And you know, if women are going to object to it and they don't want to talk to us, that's fine. But let's not, you know, write it off before it's even begun. And I think the fact that 9.1 million women in this country didn't vote, that women still have got problems with childcare, that still there's unequal pay, that there's still problems with domestic violence, that politics is still male dominated, those are all important and serious issues. And this bus is not just a colour, it's about something, it's about our democracy. It's quite a small bus, but it's a very big issue.